All right, now we're going to play with the menu. So we click menu. You can also click on any of the parts of the um, the page, and it will take you to that part. So if I, right now we're in the article section. If I wanted to go over here, this is the vertical menu, or this is the sidebar. But right now we're going to play with the menu. And let's see. Uh, so the length, we can do sheet width, we can do page width if we wanted to. But I don't want to do page width. I want it just to keep it within the sheet because that's where we are. Uh, styling, you can select different button styles. Just like that. And we got that. The coloring. Um, you can, it has those options, but we can do whatever we want here. Uh, texture. You can play with uh, whatever textures you want. Let's see. If we can find a good texture to go with. So we'll just put that texture in there, and uh, the fill color, actually I want my fill color to be that right there, uh, border, well we don't need a border on that, and let's see, transparency, make it 40%. And now we're looking at the different items in here, and we can look at the size. So we can make them bigger if we want to. We can make them smaller. Yeah, we'll make that that size. Okay, now the fill. This is for the passive, active, and hovered. So I don't like that color. I like to make them all the same. and make it all the same so now they're all the same okay the text um, hmm font family size it's passive I want more colors actually I want to make these black so we just go down there make them black and make the active one black as well and we'll go down here to font options we're gonna select a uh, chiller again trying to keep things consistent so make them all chiller bold and we want to make Font 14. It's a little bit small. 16. Alright, that looks good. All caps. We'll take all caps off. I'll make it all caps. Select that again. Okay. And actually, we're going to take these buttons and we're going to. Um, make them a little more transparent as well so that sticks out and we'll select the active one as well and make it 40 alright and let's see the texture and the gradient you could play with these gradients however you want. Uh, we'll make this dark at the bottom to light at the top. So there we go. And that's all there is for the menu. Oh, and you can also, I don't know if I showed you,
but down here uh, you can select the distances you want so you can see how it's they're pretty close together but we'll select eight there or six brings them a little bit closer together or we can have no distance which I'll do that and that's pretty much all there is to setting up your header so in the next video or setting up your menu so in the next one we'll get into the actual article